just uh, assessing the damage on my king quad. Have you ever been out on the trail on your ATV or side by side and you bust something up? Well, that's exactly what happened to us on one of our last adventures. But fortunately for me, I have one of the best kept secrets in the off-road industry and I'm about to share it with you. My buddy John, who owns Pirate MX in Parkersburg, West Virginia, has an online salvage facility. He's got over 23,000 used parts in stock for your ATV, side-by-side, -side, dirt bike, street bike, and you Harley guys, he's got a ton of Harley parts, so you're gonna love him. The thing about Pirate MX is it saves you time and money, and I think that's what all of us serious off-roaders are looking for. Pirate MX is an online salvage yard. We specialize in late model salvage basically from 2000 forward. Uh, we specialize sport quad, big board utility stuff, uh, street bike, Harley, Metro Cruiser, Crotch Rockets, pretty much anything in the power sports industry. Uh, we're a used parts dealer basically. So we'll buy whole units, disassemble them, clean the parts, picture the parts, and then offer the parts to you guys at basically deep discounts over OEM pricing. Pirate MX is our website. Um, it's really user friendly. Uh, we launched it about six weeks ago. Uh, it's got a Fitment app integration in it, so it really makes it easier. Basically, when you go in and select your year, make model, it's gonna return back anything across, you mean the existence of Suzuki, so to speak. You know, if we have something that fits it, it's going, for your model, it'll, pop up and show you all these parts are based off we need stuff like this all the time because we bust stuff up if you're going to ride you're going to bust stuff up and you know john's kind of explaining to me how everything works here give me the grand tour and i you know i figure if i don't know about this place there's a lot of other people who don't know about this place and there's huge savings to be able to buy something from a salvage facility you know it's not like they just have everything sitting outside he's got it all stripped down labeled numbered inventory you know exactly what you're getting because there's a picture on the website and that's the part you're gonna get. There's no surprises. And like, what can you save by getting a used part average? I mean, it's gonna vary across the board, but if somebody calls up and says, hey, I need an ax or I need a cage, or, you know, you've got all kinds of stuff sitting around here. There's a bunch of razor seats. If somebody calls up here, like, what can they expect to save on that? Most things, I mean, you're looking at 50 to 80% off of retail as far as what you're gonna see, I mean, online or you go to how long, uh How long have you guys been in business? How long have you been doing this? Since 2011, so six years. Yeah. So, what gave you the crazy idea to even do this? Uh, me and a buddy of mine was kicking around, and you know, he showed me some stuff that his research that he did, and you know, he kind of just took off with it and ran. Yeah. I mean, I was laid off. I mean, downturn in the economy, so you gotta feed the family. It's on how you promote something to your lady. You don't tell her that you're ordering something from Pirate MX that has 23,000 parts in stock, 50,000 square foot warehouse, and all the cool stuff. No, no, no. You tell her you're ordering it to save money. That's the pitch you give her. Just like you know when your woman comes back from the mall or store or something, and she tells you how much money she actually saved, but she never tells you how much she spent. Play the same game, my friend. Play the same game. Because it's not really like a yard, everything's sitting outside. It's a facility where it's all warehoused inside. Correct. You know, so... And that's the thing is, I mean, we do buy some salvage stuff. We buy, you know, most of our stuff's all clean title stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, just dealer trade-ins, repos, that type of thing. But making sure that we take as good a care of the parts once we get them as we possibly can. You know, we don't, we don't want to add more, you know, rash or anything yeah. like that to it. So having it inside and not being weathered, you know, it's yeah. going to provide you guys with better product. Yeah, and to me it seems like you guys are pretty serious about customer service. You like to get the parts in, clean them up, inventory, make sure everything's good on. You even mark it if there's something wrong with it so that the customer knows, hey, this is, has something wrong with it, you know. So you really go above and beyond. It's not just like, here you go, what you see is maybe what you get. Correct. I mean, traditional salvage, guys just... You mean take stuff off, throw it on a table, they might picture it, throw it in a bend, and they're going to say, okay, you order brake caliber, here's brake caliber. Drag out of the bend, send it to you, filthy, dirty. How do these guys know if there's any damage to it? Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to take the time to clean the product, to inspect the product, to look at the product, to say, hey, this is good, you know, why would you even sell it in the first place? I mean, that's our thoughts. I mean, we, we want to provide you with every bit of amount of information we can so you can make the correct purchase. You know, if there's something wrong with it, we're going to tell you. Mm -hmm. you know, and, that's, and something most people don't realize is if you look at any of the titles or any of our descriptions, if you see an asterisk in it, there is additional information in that title that there is an issue that we noted. So an asterisk, make sure you read the description. 
because we are trying to tell you something.